Well, hello there and welcome back to another tutorial here with Pageant Planet. My name is Deidre Murphy. I'm a personal fashion stylist, owner of Style by Deidre, and contributor right here on Pageant Planet. Today I'm going to give you four tips for walking during evening gown and some specific action steps that you can take during your next onstage competition or even your next practice session. Now granted a lot of these tips I'm going to really explain in depth because I'm not going to be showing them. This is a sitting down video so bear with me. But if you're interested in working with me one on one, not only in person but even virtually, I work with clients all over the world. I would love to help you out on your next competition. So head to stylebydeidra.com in order to contact me and work with me one on one. So my first tip whenever it goes into evening gown is number one, have your headspace right. The instant you walk onto that stage for your evening gown competition, you should be thinking to yourself, I am your next queen. I am the next Miss fill in the blank or I am the next Mrs. fill in the blank. As soon as you step onto that stage and you are thinking that, it will show to the judges and they won't necessarily realize it, but they will think to themselves, huh, something about that contestant really screams the next Miss such and such. So that is tip number one, think about what you want to be perceived as and really start practicing it well in advance, before the pageant. Anytime you walk into a rehearsal, your interview, on stage for swimsuit, evening gown, whatever, you should be thinking to yourself, here you go, I am your next such and such, thank you all for coming today, you are here and I love it, I am your next queen. So get your headspace right. My second tip is to find your waist. So many times I see contestants walk on stage and they hit a pose and they don't know where their true waistline is and so they are ending up putting their hands actually on their hips which are too low. And I'm specifically talking about the pose where maybe you put your hands into your waist like this or even the ones where you put it on your backside. That's kind of a different topic but specifically the ones where you're putting an arm on your waist or one arm, what have you. Your waist is not only the smallest feature of your midsection, but it's also where you bend. So if you're having trouble finding exactly where your unique waistline is, I would like you to do I'm a little teapot, bend to the side, and wherever you naturally bend is your actual waistline. So when you're stopping and posing, whether it's when you first walk out or after you do a turn, make sure you're putting your hands on your natural waistline. Not only will it emphasize the smallest feature on your body, but it will actually bring our eye in, focusing on that small feature, and you just seem really confident, like you know where you're trying to place your hand during the whole entire evening gown portion of competition. And anytime you can up level your confidence and come off like you know what you're doing, it's going to resonate with your judges. So find your waist. Tip number three is to swivel your arms ever so slightly. This one is going to be a little bit hard to explain, but really practice not only swinging your arms evenly, but also kind of swiveling them ever so slightly behind you. So the first way to make sure both of your arms are swinging at an equal amount is to take some water bottles, just the kind that you would find at Costco, 10 ounce or 16 ounce water bottles, slightly fill them just so they're about even on each, but you know, maybe an inch or two of water on each water bottle and slightly start swinging your hands and practicing walking, hanging the water bottles in between two fingers as you walk. It will help you create balance in your swing and your girth so that way you're not swinging one arm like a propeller and the other one's barely moving. I think what happens as women we typically carry our bag or our purse on one arm so the other arm gets used to swinging more. By leveling it out with the water bottles, you'll level out that swing of each arm. And then you slightly want to swivel your arm behind your backside as you walk. Ever so slightly, just barely grazing the backside of your, your figure, your bum if you would, just because it helps to accentuate your shape and it will naturally help you kind of swivel 
your hips as you walk. That's actually my next tip. So tip number four is to swivel your hips ever so slightly as you're walking. So you would want to place one foot in front of the other rather than doing a step and a step with your, your legs. You almost swivel from the hips and hinge from the hips and that's what helps create movement in the gown, especially if you're wearing some sort of fitted gown or a mermaid gown. It will really just help accentuate your overall shape, create that feminine form as you're moving on stage, whether you're walking or posing and remembering to place your hands on your natural waistline. That will create a seamless and beautiful walk as you are entering your evening gown portion of competition. I hope these four tips help you in your next pageant or rehearsal or practice as you practice in front of the mirror for your next competition. Again, I love to help contestants work on this one-on-one -on -one or in person or virtually. So contact me by going to stylebydeidre.com and hitting the email me and get connected there or find me on social media. Everything is at stylebydeidre. And if you want to stay up to date with the most relevant pageant news, more articles like these, and get connections with pageant professionals, click pageantplanet.com. You can click the link below and start your own profile right now to get going. Thanks and have a great day. Mwah!